Okay, this is a quick tutorial for anyone using Logic Pro X and you can't find where your samples have gone. Sometimes if you move a file or delete something by accident and then you open a composition in Logic Pro X, it can't find the sample within that composition. And usually it's a sample um, using one of the internal instruments that come with Logic Pro X. Uh, so for this particular example, I'm using the EXS sampler. Uh, it said there was a file missing when I tried to open it and uh, so I opened it anyway it still couldn't find the file so I went over here and according to uh, it did, this is the file that wouldn't load so it couldn't figure out where it was so now I need to figure out where it is so I'm going to click on it and this right here tells me the path in Finder to go to look for the particular file okay so I'm going to go to the Finder I'm going to go to music because it says music. Next it says logic. So I'm going to go to the logic folder. And then this is the title of the song. So now I got to find that. I'll just type it in the search. And I4. There it comes up here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click. I'm going to right click this. And then I'm going to show package contents. So this is what's within that composition here. You got your alternatives, whatever that is, but what I want is media. So I'm looking for, this is the actual instrument. Here's the samples, or the sample in this particular song. The song was called uh, the, EX, the EXS sampler instrument was called gold. Because when you create an instrument, through um, Logic's instrument catalog, it allows you to name what the instrument is. So my son named it Gold, but in that instrument, this is a sample that was used. This is the audio sample. So what you can do is you can drag it and drop it back in there because it just doesn't know where it is. Or you can drag it to the original location where you had deleted the file so that when you open it again, Logic Pro will identify and figure out and know where it is. And then you're back to square one right where you where, where everything should be and you're good to go. All right, I really hope this helps people figure out where their loops, their audio files are. It's a lot of uh, searching on Google to figure this out. Maybe this just works for me. I don't know if this is the normal route, but it worked. And uh, the sample's back in there. So we're good. Alright, hope this helps.